But I say no set of money, but for my unity. First of all, your people need their identity. Dr. Leroy Caliste, Black Stalin, was dubbed the Shakespeare of Calypso by former President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Anthony Carmona. He said Stalin was one who always pushed for Caribbean unity and for the potential of a better Caribbean man. And he, through his music, demanded constant validation that the small man would be afforded a rightful place. Because the small man life is no mere statistic. And Justice Gillian Lucky recalled that Stalin delivered his messages in a charismatic but powerful style, always striving for equity, and said she believes younger generations must be afforded the opportunity to remember such a leader. In order to pay true homage to Black Stalin, I respectfully suggest that reference to his compositions be made part of the curriculum in our nation's schools. Both MPs in San Fernando, Brian Manning and Faris al Rawi, remembered Stalin as one who was not afraid to call out politicians. With his trademark smile, rasta cap and dreadlocks, from humble beginnings right here in San Fernando, he held Caribbean leaders accountable. To be a politician on an open mic before an audience in the presence of the memory of Black Stalin will cause you to quake in your boots because you're afraid you make a song. And delivering the tribute on behalf of Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, Camille Robinson Reggie said Stalin's classics left society much richer. Singing his lessons to us with sheer love, prompting neither racial hatred, bitterness, nor revenge. She said through his contributions, Stalin always ensured that Twin Island could be left in a better condition. Sonolala, TTT News.